Ludacris, welcome back. But this time to the Daily Social Distancing Show. How you doing, my dude? <laughs> I'm good, man. I, I feel like, you know, we're brothers from another mother, especially with our afros just growing right now, rapidly. Right? This is this is like the, the thing. I feel like you started yours first, though. You were, I, I remember seeing you growing it out, you know, during all those vacation pictures. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, like I'd see Luda and it was always you and your wife and you'd be out on vacation on like a beautiful island. And I was like, man, this guy goes on too many vacations. And then 2020 hit and I'm like, man, I should have gone on more vacations. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, by the way, we're light skinned, man. I gotta stay in the sun as much as I can. So, you know, me being on islands is pretty much home for me. That's <laughs> what I have to do. <laughs> I gotta keep I remember, this. can I, I tell you something? I remember the first time, I remember the first time I came, I like, like when I first got to New York, it was my first year. Like, I've never lived like this, you know? Like, the days end at like 4 p.m. because someone changes the time and then I don't know, some bullshit happens. All I know is I wasn't getting enough sun, like the same amount of sun that I was getting in South Africa. And I knew it was bad when my makeup artist at the show was like, hey man, you need to start standing outside, otherwise I'm gonna start using white people makeup on you. Next time hey, I'm man. coming with you. Yes, I got you covered, no worries, bro. I literally stay on the island, so I love it. I feel you, man, I feel you. But this year has been really different, man. Um, you know, I, 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 it's funny that you're here because I, I remember wondering, what is Ludacris doing? You know, <laughs> I, was thinking of, I was thinking of Ludacris the actor, you know, Ludacris the rapper. Everyone's danced to your music. Everyone has watched your movies. And I was like, what is Ludacris doing right now? And it turns out, you're here to talk about, honestly, in my opinion, one of the most amazing initiatives called Kid Nation. Tell me what it's all about. Man, you know, when we always want to do things that we want to see the change in the world, we have to be that change, right? And I wish I would have had this when I was a kid. So we've been working on this. Obviously, there's so much craziness going on in the world. Um, kids and parents, they need this supplemental edutainment, as I like to call it. It's a lot of virtual schooling going on. And so I created this platform that's a safe haven and a safe place for children that is all original content, videos, and music. Some talking about math, talking about science, talking about good grades, about manners. I mean, you name it, we have it. And obviously it's like current music, hip hop, um, pop, rock and roll, all different genres. It's almost recreating the music industry, but literally having nothing but educational and fun entertainment content for children. That's what Kid Nation is, kidnation.com and, and the app that just got out. So there you have I, it, man, in a nutshell. I, I won't lie, when I first heard about it, I was like, man, this is gonna be corny. This is gonna be trash. This is gonna be like Luda trying to act like he, he's friends with kids or something. I was like, this is gonna be horrible. <laughs> no, for real though, I was worried and it's amazing. Like it's like, I'll tell, I'll tell you why it's amazing. I'll tell you why it's amazing. First of all, we take for granted how important it is to give kids like literally safe spaces where they can just learn and have fun. These days, the internet, you click one video that's a kid's vi like a kid's song and the next thing you know, they're in some deep conspiracy theory. Secondly, it's actually good music. Like a lot of people think that kids don't know what a beat is and you made actual good music for kids to learn about life, to learn about racial equality, to learn about math, to learn about, and some of the songs you even made with kids. Tell me about that experience. Man, it's literally facilitating their their voice. And I feel like we have to listen to kids a lot more, man. They have this innocence and this candidness about themselves and they just shoot you straight and they tell you about love. They can reteach you. Cause you know, we go through life, we become adults, we start having all these responsibilities and right. we, it's, our minds get distorted a lot. And that's another reason that I created this, man. And I, I'm glad that you get it because it's so important right now, especially right now with everything that's going on that we give them something that they can literally just stay on. And the parents love that it's not gonna take them uh, somewhere else where they're looking at exactly. it's something that we don't wanna see, but we all know that kids wanna more listen to the adult content, which, you know, which is kind of ironic because I make adult content. So I'm almost battling and balancing my karma from all the adult content that I'm making <laughs> now, trying to help facilitate the kids. <laughs> um, what I what I love about the project as well is, you know, especially in a time like like we're living in today, man, parents are desperate for any help they can get. So many kids are not in school right now. Like, I always tell people, we're desperate to get schools open again. For me, it's like before bars and restaurants, get the schools open, man. You know, because you you can figure out a way to pay a bar, you can't figure out a way to pay a kid's education. Like that's that's their time. And, and so, so many parents will appreciate what you're doing because it helps them teach their kids, it makes it fun, it makes it interesting. And what I think a lot of people will appreciate, even if they're not parents, is you're letting people participate with an amazing prize on the other end. Talk me through some of that, because I heard something about a Ford Bronco, I heard something about $50,000, and I was like, whoa, 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 there's $50,000 in this thing? 
Yeah, and I was like, and lunch with Ludacris and flying to Los Angeles. Walk me through some of this, because some of it sounds like a lie. I got to figure out what the truth is. <laughs> it sounds too good to be true, but literally during this time, all I'm trying to do is help people. And you literally pretty much said everything. All people have to do is go to winanewbronco.com. We got a 2021 for Bronco. There's like an 18-month waiting list for this. Um, and I'm going to hand over the keys when it's safe and fly people to Los Angeles to get this car. And literally, the wow. the... It's got all going to benefit when you sign up for this. The Boys and Girls Club, which is, you know, everybody knows about that. It's helping uh, underprivileged families. It's helping with tutoring with kids that are doing schooling right now. And then to top it all off, there's $50,000 cash that someone is going to win. So I'm just here to let you know this is nothing but goodness that we're spreading on all fronts from Kid Nation um, to this Bronco to 50000 cash. It's literally what everybody needs, especially during the holidays and on 2020, this year that has thrown everyone for a loop. So you're not just, you know, you're not just sitting around during the pandemic. I know you one of the hardest working people I know, and that's why you go on so many vacations is because you work hard and you play hard and you love living your life that way. Um, you've got a new movie on Amazon Prime and... Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Luda, I was I was a little thrown because the title of the movie made me think that maybe this is like a Fast and Furious spin-off. It was called <laughs> it's called The Ride. Right. And I was like, right. oh yeah, we're about to it's gonna be crazy. And it was crazy, but in a, in a different way, because you play a dad who's part of a family who adopts a neo-Nazi white kid. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, it's a it's a powerful movie, but I I was like, man, I I was not ready for this. Is what I'm saying. I was ready for a car chase, and then I got something really deep. Talk me through the film. Well, listen, man. I think a lot of people understand by now that I literally try to do things in this entertainment industry that people are not ready for, and always try to do something different. And this is definitely different, but it's based on a true story, and that's one of the reasons I gravitated towards it. And you pretty much named it, man. You know, um, being a, a a a parent that's that's helping to foster a, a child that was raised as a white supremacist. And I think this story is all about second chances. It's all about, um, you know, if you can be taught to hate, can you be taught to love? And it raises so many great conversations. So I could talk a lot about it, but when people check this movie out on Amazon Prime, I think they're going to form their own basis and their own opinions. And I guarantee it's going to make some people cry. Before I let you go, I remember as a kid, Yep. There were books that my mom got me. She couldn't afford to buy me like just books. So we had like a like a layaway program where my mom could give a little money and they would send us literally one book a month. That's all we could afford, one book, one book. And I remember the one of the biggest series that changed my life was it was a book it was called What It Means to Be. And we'd get these books once a month and my mom would sit with me and be like what it means to be kind, what it means to be loyal, what it means to be a good friend, what it means to be caring, what it means to be funny, what it mean it was just like just and I will never forget those lessons. And I, I got a similar feeling going through what Kid Nation is all about. And I appreciate that from Definitely. you, man. Because I was like, we take for granted how shaping the kids, as you said, you can teach kids to hate, but are we going to take the time to teach them to love? So I appreciate you for that, man. Listen, man, those words coming from you, especially, you have no idea how much that means. Um, you know, I, I just... It's all about legacy for me right now. And you just stamped that approval and all the hard work that I've been doing with all these different people just by saying and stating what you just said. Means the world to me. Can't wait to see you again in person. Can't wait to, can't wait to hit these islands later, my man. All right? <laughs> let's hit the islands. Let's get, let's get some of the color back. Let's get some of the color back. <laughs> all love, bro. I appreciate you, man. All right, dude. Have a good one, man.